Hello, um, my name is Mr Burke. I'm uh, Head of Business and Economics um, at Ringwood and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, the revision uh, that we're going to be doing for Year 11 students for GCSE Business Studies. Um, I teach one group, uh, Mr Neil teaches the other group. So firstly, uh, I just wanted to explain how the two papers are structured. So uh, you can see on the screen, uh, paper one, uh, there are two papers. Each one is uh, 90 marks and lasts one hour and 45 minutes. Both papers are weighted equally. Uh, paper one focuses on uh, the operations and human resources aspects of business studies. Paper two focuses on the marketing and the finance aspects. So they're quite nicely separated so that students can prepare uh, specifically for paper one, knowing what's going to come up on paper one. And then uh, so not worrying about the marketing and finance um, until they get to paper two and vice versa when it comes to paper two. Uh, each paper has uh, some multiple choice questions on them and some short answer questions that are worth 20 marks. Uh, then they have two case studies. Uh, in section B, there is uh, one case study and uh, some data response questions uh, that will be worth approximately 34 marks, uh, a range of six mark, nine mark questions. Uh, and then section C, again, they'll get a different case study now um, and there will be some further um, questions following that, including the 12 marker, which I will talk about. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about the mock exam that's coming up for year 11s. So in business studies, they're only going to sit the paper one um, on HR and operations. Uh, this is because we haven't yet taught the uh, two topics that come up on paper two. So we're going to give them a full paper one, uh, which is the 90 marks and uh, uh, one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, they will be given a revision list in their lessons um, this week um, and uh, we'll get the teachers will go through them. They'll rag their uh, their topic list. So they'll go through and they'll say how confident they feel about each of the topics on their revision list. That gives them some sort of guidance as to what they maybe need to prioritise when they come to revising. Uh, papers will be marked um, in line with the exam board expectations and we will be using the uh, 2019 uh, grade boundaries, roughly speaking, uh, because that's where we are uh, kind of roughly expecting the grade boundaries to uh, drop to this year as part of the JCQ's um, kind of uh, movement back to pre-pandemic uh, gra uh, grading. So we'll be using those grade boundaries. Uh, Mr. Nill is also an assessor, uh, an examiner for GCSE. Um, so he also helps us to moderate um, our markings that we both, uh, both myself and Mr. Neil, are marking similarly and in line with what the exam board would expect. And therefore students are getting a, um, a representative grade that uh, they can hopefully build from towards their summer exams. Uh, this is the original list that the students will be receiving um, and as you can see um, it's got a, uh, quite a lot from units one and two which are the uh, kind of introductory units that cover that come up in both papers one and paper two. Uh, so there's a few of those topics that we'll have covered uh, quite early on in the first half of year 10. There's a few uh, topics we did towards the end of year 10 when we did uh, business operations and then there are some of the topics that we've been looking at so far this year from human resources. So just to quickly go through some exam technique that we talk to students about um, in lessons and that we encourage them to use when they are in an exam or in doing their homework. Um, you can pause the screen at some point too if you want to uh, read through this again. Uh, but as I said earlier, um, the early part of the paper will involve some short answer questions. So there'll be some multiple choice questions and then there'll be a range of questions that usually range from two to four marks. Some of these will be calculations, some of them will be um, written answers. So in the two to four mark questions, uh, they'll usually explain or identify questions. And what the question is kind of expecting them to do here is to make a point and then very briefly explain why that point might be the case. So for example, they might be asked to explain one advantage of using flow production. 
And in this situation, we would expect them to say something like one advantage of using flow production for a business is, and then they say their advantage. And then they would say, this is an advantage for the business because, and then they explain why. That's how they kind of answer these two mark questions. Four mark questions are usually two lots of explanations. Uh, the identify questions don't need any explanation. They are just uh, a statement of fact. The six mark questions is the first of the essay style questions that, we, uh, that GCC students have to answer. These require one paragraph of detailed analysis. Um, we ask students to use a belter structure, which is what we use through GCSE and right through to A-level um, in business studies. Um, and I'll come on to that shortly. But a six mark paragraph, a six mark answer is basically just one paragraph that is uh, a nice detailed analysis chain of reasoning. A nine mark question um, will require students to either compare two potential options or discuss one option. If that question asks two options, then they should always analyze and evaluate the advantages of both the options and then come to a conclusion. If the question asks about just one potential option, then they should analyze and evaluate both the positives and the negatives of this option and again come to a conclusion about which um, they believe is, is more important. For the 12 mark questions, uh, this requires students to always compare two options and the question will state which one of these two options will have the biggest impact on a particular area of the business. So that area might be on profit, it could be on productivity, it could be on efficiency, for example. So that's the structure of the, the questions and the way that they should answer them. Uh, as I said, in the 12 mark questions, they should analyze the uh, so they should analyze and evaluate both the uh, benefits of both options um, and then conclude. And in that conclusion, uh, they should possibly start to discuss some of the downsides of the option that they rejected. So they'll give their reasons why they believe um, option one, for example, is, the, is going to have the biggest impact and they'll make the case for that. And then they can say why they believe the second option uh, may be is, has, has been rejected and why they believe that is, and what might be a downside of that for the business, or why might it not have as big an impact. So the belt of structure that we use for students to write their extended writing in business studies um, stands for, so first of all they make their point, then they say because, so a bit like I was saying for the two mark questions, uh, then they'll bring in some evidence. Remember, they'll have a case study to, to use here. So the case study is there to help them to uh, pick out some useful um, application that they can use to support the theory. Uh, then they say what this might lead to for the business. Uh, and therefore, and finally, a little bit of evidence. And finally, it will result in something. So they can build their, uh, their paragraph around this. So they make their point. They say because of this reason. Uh, this might lead to this happening to the business and therefore this will be a consequence and this will be the final result for the, uh, for the business. So this is the way that they can structure it and this kind of tries to tick off as many of the assessment objectives as possible. For the nine mark questions and the 12 mark questions they will also need to add a however at the end of the paragraph where they can do some evaluation. In terms of support uh, going forward, both for mocks and for uh, the actual A level, uh, actual GCSEs, uh, we have the range of revision guides, workbooks, and revision cards all available on Arbor still. Uh, so uh, I try to order these uh, probably once a half term because uh, we have to pay postage for each order that we do. So we try to do it in one bulk order. So I'll do another order uh, later this half term, which will obviously be too late for the mocks now, but will be obviously still useful for um, their actual GCSEs. A number of year 11 students, quite a lot actually, have now already bought these, um, but it might be that they only bought the revision guide in year 10 and maybe now want the workbook or the revision cards. Um, so as I said, they're all on Arbor. Um, and if they want to order those, I'll place another order um, later this half term. We also have a website called Seneca. All students uh, were given access to this in year 10. If they've forgotten their login, they can just speak to their teachers. But this basically provides uh, further practice. So there are some uh, short tutorials on there. Uh, there's some uh, questions that they can have a go at, which it marks for them so they know if they're getting them right or wrong. 
there are some exam style questions on there as well. So it's all good revision uh, for students to use. There's also a good range of YouTube channels, uh, which we always recommend uh, students to use. We use some of these occasionally in class as well. So there's the Two Teachers uh, YouTube channel, uh, Taking the Biz and the Tutor to You um, YouTube. So all of these are all free. Um, they're all online, they're all live. Uh, uh, Tutor to You also do live YouTube revision sessions nearer the summer exams. So we will obviously direct students towards those um, when we are told that they're happening. Uh, but that's just to give you some advance um, notice of those. But they're really good. Um, they are quite interactive, um, those live sessions, um, and they cover, they try to cover the whole range of the course uh, in the lead up to their exams. But otherwise, the two, uh, the two teachers and Taking the Biz web, uh, YouTube channels are also uh, really useful with uh, just short videos going over topics that they will have learnt um, in class. They also have their books, of course. Um, so over the last year and a half, they've um, hopefully collected their notebooks and keep them, kept them uh, nice and neat. And therefore, they've got lots and lots of nice detailed notes that they can look back on um, to uh, revise anything that they want to from the past year and a half. Uh, and there's also Teams. So both myself and Mr. Neil um, add our PowerPoints that we use in class and the note sheets that we hand out to our Teams pages. So you can see uh, my uh, Teams page from the um, HR unit with some of the PowerPoints on there that um, we have looked at. So if students miss lessons or if they or if we just went through something a bit too fast or they just want to revise and go back over something, then uh, that's all on there uh, for them on, on their Teams page. And finally, just uh, looking ahead uh, now towards the summer exams, which uh, seems quite a long way away, but um, just to a little bit of a heads up. Uh, so once we have finished teaching marketing, uh, we then have one more unit to cover, which is the finance unit. Uh, we'll then get students to sit a full paper two once we've completed those two uh, units so that we can actually sit a full paper two so they have the experience of what a paper two um, is like. Uh, and then once we have finished teaching all of the topics and we start revising in class, um, we'll also, um, closer to the exams, start to offer some after school revision sessions uh, for each of the units that we have covered. And uh, as I said, once we finish teaching all of the topics, uh, we'll start to revise in class, um, during which time we'll also get students to complete some past papers um, as part of their revision. So hopefully that has given you uh, a good insight into what we're doing in business studies and what uh, we recommend students are doing and some of the options that they have uh, going forward for their revision. Uh, if you do have any questions, then please do get in touch with either myself um, if I am your, your son or daughter's teacher or Mr. Neil if that's the case. Thank you.